What's going on everybody? It's Conte here with another video. Specular Intensity and Specular Exponent in DaVinci Resolve 15. Adding a specular element to a graphic basically means adding a reflective effect. In this case here, the specular element is the white dot which appears in the top right corner of each of the black circles. The greater the specular intensity, the greater this particular white dot will be. Surrounding this little white dot in the rest of the circle is the exponent effect, which basically represents the boundary of the specular. The specular's boundary can also be referred to as the fall off. The greater the specular intensity, the more significant it will be on the graphic itself. In order to demonstrate how specular intensity and specular exponent settings can be made and adjusted using a fusion title in DaVinci Resolve 15. I'm going to go to the effects library and inside the toolbox window I'm going to scroll down and inside here in a sub menu you should be able to find your fusion title options. If I scroll down here in this particular tutorial I'm going to use the 3D lower third shelf text option which you can insert onto your timeline by simply left clicking with your mouse, holding the mouse button down and dragging to the timeline. Let go of your left mouse button once the actual fusion title is on the timeline. For the purpose of this tutorial so that the text is easy to see, ensure that you drag your red indicator to the middle of your fusion title edit on your timeline so that you can see the whole text message appearing on your preview screen. The message should be text on a shelf. I've increased the size of this particular text and I've also shifted it up to the middle of the screen more and you can do the same also to help you by left clicking once on your fusion title edit on the time and going to video which appears underneath inspector and in this particular case here I've increased zoom X and Y to 2.010. Position X has been set to 767 and position Y has been set to 822. Having adjusted the position and size of the fusion title on the screen, I can now go to its fusion settings by left clicking on fusion underneath inspector also, right where I clicked on video last time. And in the properties that appear, you should see two headings, main text controls and main light controls. I'm going to go to main text controls by left clicking once on the arrow. Scroll down on your options to text color. Double click on the color rectangle. In this case here, I'm going to select green. The hexadecimal code will be hashtag 00FF00. Click OK. Scroll down in your fusion options further until you get to specular color. Keep this as white and scroll down further until you get to the bottom where you should find specular intensity and specular exponent. At present the intensity is far greater than the exponent. And as illustrated at the start of this tutorial the specular presence should be far more significant. In this case here, on the text in this DaVinci Resolve project, the green text color has been obscured by the white specular shade. If I go to the fusion properties and decrease the specular intensity, you can see that the green text color becomes more obvious. If I were to now increase the exponent, you can see that the white specular effect is not as significant as in the previous version. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. To support this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.